Here I have a Ford Extender Vehicle 211F single radio version. This could be deployed in a remote cabinet or in a fleet vehicle. In a vehicle, this would typically be mounted on the back of a cab, inside of a trunk, or maybe under a seat. Because of the variety of mounting options, we have critical status lights along the edge so you can quickly see the status no matter how it's mounted. We have indicators for the overall status as well as the status of individual interfaces. On the bottom, we have our SIM slots while all the connections are intentionally on a single side, making cabling more convenient in a rugged environment or a vehicle. Compare this to a Forti extender intended for indoor use, where we have connections on the sides to avoid cable tangles, as well as an office camouflage design. Looking at those connections on the Forti extender vehicle, we have a wide area connection for deployments that can make use of it, as well as an ethernet switch for connecting local devices. A USB port and RS-232 serial provide connections to other local devices in the vehicle or the site, as well as digital input and output connectors. Power is a standard 4-pin power connector designed to be powered on any typical vehicle voltage or industrial DC power source, as well as providing ignition sensing which sends the Ford extender into a low power state after the vehicle has been turned off so we don't drain the battery. Finally, we have standard SMA connectors for LTE, GNSS or GPS in the United States, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radios. Because this is a 211F that we have here, we have connections for a single LTE radio. A 212F would look the same, but add two additional connections for the second LTE radio. Here I'm using our five-in-one antenna, which includes antennas for LTE and GNSS in a single housing making it a great choice for vehicles or outdoor fixed locations. We do have additional antenna options available from Fortinet, but Fortinet extenders also work with other common antennas on the market.